Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are at a golf course and we are going to be walking a little bit of a distance to get down to where we want to start fishing then we're going to work our way back. The water is over that way. So we're going to head that way after I got my backpack and rods and also sorry for the audio because there's some people mowing over here which is perfectly fine but yeah let's get into it. Guys, let's walk down here. So I know a lot of people fish right here. Do you know where there is fishing? Do you know where there is fishing? You go on the other side of the fence over there. Right at the end of the chain link fence, there's between there, there's a sign about, I don't know, 10, 15 feet. You can stand right there and fish right between there. That's not right. Okay. Thank you. But everybody else goes down. There might be sometimes three or four people down there fishing. Right now? Well, not right now. They're not there now. But I mean, they do, and they don't, nobody says nothing to them, so I don't know. I might just want to make sure because I film and put on YouTube. Oh, well, you can, uh, I would. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Yep, thank you. You bet, thank you. We got a bit of a distance we can fish here. This will be fine. Okay. I said we could fish over here. People fish here all the time, so. I'm gonna start with the topwater frog. Oh, great. Just cast it straight under that tree. I guess I can cast further than I thought. That was a bass. Eat the bait fish. But actually, I think I'm gonna go with a one Michael painted and gave to me to catch a fish on Friday. I don't know if you want to put it back or not, but I'll give it back to them after I catch a big fish here, hopefully. I catch the bigger fish here. Knife, quick and easy exchange. The frog, bada boom, bada bang. Let's take it back in the back. You know what? I'm trying to bite braid off. That doesn't work. Make sure we don't litter. Covered in moss in my hook. So we might like that. That's why it wasn't running very good. on a leader. It goes work everywhere. I like to do three or four wraps with my fluorocarbon leader to the braid. When I do a uni to uni knot and at the braid I'll do five to six. I usually do more at the braid because the braid is obviously smaller than the mono. I mean not mono. And 20 pound fluoro. I don't know why I call it mono. It's fluorocarbon. Mono would be even bigger than this. try these bunker logs the night club color because I've never used a sink of that color before. It looks quite tantalizing. Let's look, see. I usually wet down this edge here so the soft plastic can go up there a lot easier and instead of having to tear a ton. Most of the time when I put my soft plastics up there they tear. Look at this thing, a mile and a half. They have the sprinkler strewn on over there and it's absolutely pummeling the surface of the water. Bass hanging out these 
mysterious fish over here. I have no idea what they are. Whoa. That was a big fish. But these fish over here get pressured some bit. Keep on walking. Quite a bit of activity going on over here. I can really access that spot right there from here. No. Here comes the sun by George. Here comes the sun. Orange or blue? Got a big fish. I already snagged. Rip. That sucks. Get on there and a big in on. I never actually used a full size shrimp hook before, so this would be a treat. I was a failed hook set. Oh, goodness gracious. Can't cast this over very far. Maybe I should grab a spinning rod. That'd be more appropriate for this case. Fish here much? Yeah, this is the first time I've been here. Yes, I am. Yeah, I thought you looked familiar. Looked like yeah, I had a decent one on a little bit ago. What's the biggest one you've caught out of here? Yeah. Just yank it out of their face. Yeah. Like, I don't think that was necessary. Well, then you never know if it's a really big fish. I was here earlier this morning, a huge bass blew up over there. His whole head came out of the water and it was like this big. Yeah, just its mouth as it's rolled over is huge. Didn't like my frog or my whopper blubber though. Oh, that's actually a really good looking frog. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's like a seven or eight dollar frog right there. I found probably about two or three frogs at running white pond. They're just floating in the water. People cut them off to retie something else and they forget about them. Oh goodness gracious. I just got a backlash my braid over on my spool. Oh, what is happening? All right, everyone, that is all for today's video. Sorry. It wasn't very much. I didn't catch any fish, but sometimes you go fishing. That's just the way it is. You don't catch anything. But look on the positive side. At least I was able to go fishing this morning and not have to do school. Ugh, school. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.